morning guys happy monday we are back with another work week in my life vlog if you're new to my channel hi my name is kayla and i work as a full-time social media manager at a small pr agency and i'm gonna take you through my work week this week should be a lot more chill than the last few weeks have been there's a lot less meetings on the calendar we've been onboarding clients the last few weeks so it's definitely been really crazy and a lot of meetings so hopefully this week is a little calmer don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments down below that lets youtube know that you liked it and helps promote my channel to more people and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button wherever it is i have my monday morning staff meeting in just a few minutes so i'm gonna hop on that and get started with my work week two meetings this morning and they went pretty well not nothing too crazy and i've just been powering through my work for the day i finished all my engagement so i'm just trying to get some other things done currently linkedin scheduling but i have to hop on a meeting right now it's just kind of a check-in meeting we have for a client we all do our own work for the client but we like to check in on mondays to make sure everyone is kind kind of knows what's going on and we're getting our work done so i'm gonna hop on that and then we'll finish up my work day it's 5 30 and i just finished with work for the day i ended up taking a bit of a break to do an informational interview with someone she emailed me saying she found my youtube channel and was looking to interview someone for a class product who was kind of working in the social media pr field um so i always kind of say yes to those because i had to do those projects all the time and do those kind of informational interview papers all the time for my classes in college so i understand the struggle so i always try and say yes to those and do those so i talked to her for like a little over 30 minutes and so i had some more things to finish up after five so not a big deal i'm more than happy to do those if you ever need to interview someone in the social media pr field you can email me dm me on instagram and i will do my best to get back to you now that i'm done with work i want to just chill for a little bit i have just like a slight headache and i just feel like i need to relax for a little bit so i'm gonna do some reading and then we'll probably work on editing a video i have one that's like mostly edited and i just kind of want to get it done and out of the way so i don't have to worry about it it's always nice to be ahead on content so that will be thursday's video i already have tomorrow's video done so that's the plan nothing too crazy i think we're making hamburgers for dinner so that's what's going on now i will talk to you guys later didn't do too much this evening besides read i've been rereading this book you were the girl for the job to do a podcast episode on it tomorrow so i need to finish it by tomorrow and i still have like 100 pages to get through so i have a lot of reading still to do but yeah that's pretty much all i did this evening so i didn't vlog too much that's it for this monday i will talk to you guys tomorrow Happy Tuesday, we are getting the day started. Remember yesterday when I said I didn't have very many meetings this week? Well, originally I had two meetings on the calendar for today and then two more got added yesterday. So now we've got four meetings and they're all working meetings. So it's not like sometimes on client meetings I can kind of work on other stuff at the same time, especially if it's like not my direct client. So uh, there's just a lot to do today and a lot of meetings. Just trying to hop in and get started. The first meeting is one that I'm in charge of. It's just like one of our reoccurring meetings to work on stuff and I just have to get a document together to prep for that for our list build and it's just pulling contact information and emails. So I have to get that document all set up and then I'm going to hop in and start working on engagement. My first meeting is at 10, but then I have like a little bit of a break until 12. So I'm going to try and power 
power through it all in that time so I don't leave it all until the end of the day. That's what's going on this morning. Another work day. Let's do this. Okay, today has been crazy so far. It's just before three and I have another meeting in just a second. I've had three meetings so far today. Um, and that's kind of taken up a majority of my day. I still have a lot of engagement to do, which normally I would have it done by now, but I've just been in meetings all day and getting stuff, other stuff done. Engagement needs to be the focus for the rest of the day after this meeting. I don't even know if this meeting is happening. It's just with the other social media manager. So I'm gonna check in with her and see what the plan is and finish up my work day. It's currently 9.45 and I'm very, very tired. I ended up working until like 5.30, 5.40. I was just kind of in a rhythm with working on Pinterest. So I just kept going with it. And then after that, I had to finish reading You Were the Girl for the Job. And then I just finally recorded the podcast episode for it. Um, so it's late and I still need to edit it and schedule it. I am kind of going back and forth between doing it right now and doing it in the morning but I think I'm gonna try and power through it tonight and then maybe try and sleep in a little bit in the morning. But also tomorrow is going to be a very crazy day at work tomorrow now. So did that make sense? I don't think so. Tomorrow is gonna be crazy at work because we just had a lot more meetings scheduled and I've got so much to do tomorrow. So I don't want to kind of push more work on to my plate tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna go get ready for bed and shower, then we'll edit, schedule it, then go to bed, then wake up do it all again such is life when you work a full-time job do youtube have a podcast and own a small business it's a lot it never ends but also i love it with everything in my heart so i just have to remind myself that not every day is like this and hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit better and i can get some more sleep tomorrow night because i don't think i'm gonna get that much tonight My major life hack is editing my podcast on two times speed. It lets me get it, get through it so much faster and edit it so much faster. So there we go. Episode is scheduled and now I'm going to go to bed because my to-do list for tomorrow is already very, very long. So good night. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We are getting started with the workday. I ended up having a ton of meetings added to my calendar again today. So it's going to be a busy one. I've just been working for a little bit already. I've been pulling a follow list for one of my clients before a meeting this afternoon. And I have to hop on a meeting in a second, but I want to go grab breakfast. And I thought I would start off vlogging for today. Brian went into work today now that we're COVID cleared. I guess we have been since Monday. But yeah, he went into work and we're just gonna chill and try and get as much done as possible throughout the day, even with all these meetings. So, that's what's up. You are so spoiled. Just sitting here, doing nothing. It's 3 p.m. and I just finished all my meetings for the day. One of them ended up being moved till tomorrow, but still a lot of my day was spent in meetings, so I haven't really done engagement at all. I mean, I did Facebook and Twitter because I just knocked those out in the beginning of the day, but I still have to do all of my Instagram engagement, so I'm going to try and power through that quickly right now, and then I need to do something else, whether it's work on a blog post or schedule or something. I just have a lot to do and not necessarily 
a certain end date to do a buy but i need to get it done so we're gonna do something else too not sure what i think i should probably finish up that blog post and knock that out of the way so then i can just like cross that fully off my to-do list i have it like half done it's been busy it's been crazy at work there's so much going on new client onboarding and everything so just a lot but we're doing good we have a job we're working i do like my job i just it's been very overwhelming recently so i'm gonna try and just put some nice music in probably listen to folklore as always just jam out my work for the rest of the day got chipotle for dinner and now i'm just gonna eat and watch some youtube videos and then i need to finish editing my video for tomorrow but just gonna chill and relax for a little bit first we are currently watching the live finale of big brother about to see who wins so this is crazy i think cody's gonna win i think he has it in the bag we'll see do any of you watch big brother i like half watched while brian watched it this season and told me what was going on good morning guys happy thursday getting up getting the day started it's really chilly outside it feels nice though i'm just I was very tired of the heat so now it's a little bit chilly i think it's supposed to get hot again next week though which is kind of a bummer i really like this nice morning chill we've got going on i meant to sleep in a little bit more but i just woke up at like a little before seven anyways so we just got up and adam i need to go get rosie she's outside and get her breakfast and get Go get ready for the day. Time for very comical update if you watched one of my last vlogs you know we were possibly exposed to covid we we're waiting on someone's test results monday we found out that they had tested negative yay we we're all good didn't have to quarantine then we found out this morning <laughs> oh why did you do that <laughs> then we just found out via text that our roommate's co-worker was with someone who just tested positive so now we are back Back to quarantining that's life and we're actually gonna do crap this weekend so you know maybe we'll get test results before the weekend and we can actually you know do the things we needed to do like go to Costco and get a flu shot but if we don't get results then we're gonna be quarantined for another weekend in a row anyways I've just been cranking out my work for the morning and getting a lot done I'm trying to get through all my engagement I've gotten through most of it I still have a few posts that haven't gone up yet that I need to do and I've been checking and tagging the weekend post to just knock that out of the way and I want to get started with end of month reporting I need to fill out a bunch of social media analytics and I don't want to leave it all till tomorrow because I have a lot to also do tomorrow so I'm going to try and get through some of that today but first I have a meeting I have a Facebook scheduling meeting in just a second so I'm just gonna work on one or two of my clients and get them further scheduled out on Facebook during that meeting just recorded an episode of girl with a vision with faith <laughs> oh wait they can't hear you i have my headphones in <laughs> she's saying hello <laughs> she's waving i just took a break for lunch and then to record a podcast episode i recorded it with faith roberts she is a social media manager she's a freelance social media manager and she has a youtube channel so i will link her down below we just recorded a podcast all about her life as a social media manager how she became one and all of that so that was really fun but now it's back to work i have a lot to do still today end of month reports are tomorrow so i want to input all the social media numbers today so i don't have to do it all tomorrow and i mean most of them won't change too much between this afternoon and tomorrow morning so i'm just gonna start cranking that out so i don't have to worry about it and just knock that off my to-do list for the rest of the week forgot to vlog anything for a bit finish up work i was working until like 5 30 i wanted to kind of get more stuff done tonight instead of leaving it till tomorrow because there are things that 
they didn't need to be done today but they need to get done by the weekend so i was like i'll just work a little bit longer today so hopefully i cannot work so late tomorrow and maybe be done a little bit early i try and end fridays a little bit early but it doesn't always happen so i was working a little bit later and then we decided to get the habit for dinner really have been bad about actually cooking dinner but i just uh couldn't be bothered so we got the habit for dinner that was good and now i'm gonna do a little bit of a mini haul i got like a bunch of packages today so well i guess one was from the other day anyways i'm gonna show you stuff first thing is my grandma sent me a cute little halloween card and she sent me socks and she sent brian a pair of socks too um his are downstairs they had little puppies on them so love my grandma for that and then brian ordered rosie these cute little white paw toys like look how cute this thing is i'm obsessed this one is a black cherry and then there's a lime one too, but it's downstairs. But these are just super cute and I love. So got that for Rosie. Then my friend Hunter released notepads. And if you know me at all, I love organization, to-do lists, all of that. And this is like the perfect outline for me. It's like the outline that the day designer planner has, but it's just in a sheet form. I normally just write out my to-do list on a piece of paper. So like this is so helpful because it has the layout with the to-do list and the timeline, but it's super cute and has like separate sheets. So you should definitely go check out her shop. It's Hunter Merck Creative. I love all of her stuff. She also gave me this little freebie sticker. Why is it not focusing? Okay, there we go. Finally focused, but she also included this little freebie sticker. It's super cute. So that was the next thing. And then the last things I got are from Lululemon. I placed an order a while ago and both the things were too big and then it just took me forever to actually return them and order new things. But we finally did it and both of these things fit. I got the Align 6 inch shorts and the Align leggings. I already have a pair of Aligns and I love them. So I wanted to get another pair in black and also a pair of the shorts as well. I thought I got the shorts in black but it ended up being this like maroon burgundy color, but I'm not mad about it. I think they're super cute and I do already have black biker shorts and I actually didn't really spend any money on these. I only paid like $18 for both of these because I had so much credit saved up on Drop. It's a cashback app. I will leave my code link down below. You get some kind of money by signing up with my code if you want to use it. I've just been saving up my points for so long on there, so I had $150 worth of points and I used it towards Lululemon. That is everything that I have gotten recently, a very random haul, but I thought I would show you everything. Now the plan is to have a very chill, not productive evening. I really just need to take the night off and not really do anything. So I'm gonna chill and watch some YouTube videos. I probably will work on my website a little bit, but nothing too crazy just cause I can sit here and write while I watch YouTube videos and kind of design that out. So that's the plan, just very relaxing evening. Definitely need it after this week has been so crazy so far. working on a blog post at my website for way too long. It's like 11:30 ish something now. And I should have gone to bed earlier. But that's okay. I was at least, you know, getting stuff done and enjoying what I was doing. So that was good. I'm going to read for a few minutes and then head to bed and then it'll be Friday and we'll end off the week strong. Getting started with my work day downstairs because Brian's up on a call upstairs and I have my Friday morning staff meeting right now. So about to hop on there, but I thought I would start off vlogging for the day. I always am really good about starting off the vlog at the beginning of the week and like vlogging a lot throughout the day 
and then it kind of trails towards the end of the week so i'm gonna try and be good and vlog a lot of my day um i don't think it'll be too crazy but it just kind of depends how it goes i have the staff meeting right now and then i have another meeting right after at 10 30 that's a client meeting so that'll be a little bit more in depth it might go longer than an hour not really sure that's what's going on this morning i've already been like kind of up and productive this morning i worked on editing a video i just kind of rough cut it but getting that out of the way is a tremendous help for later on when i actually like sit down and in depth edit it and then i also filled out the weekly analytics report for my clients like i always do on friday mornings and i think that's about it we have end of month reporting today but i pretty much filled out all my social media numbers yesterday i still have a few that i need to go in and do but for the most part that's all done and good and yeah that's it happy friday I said I was gonna be better at vlogging today and then I totally forgot to vlog anything throughout the day. I do have a few clips for me working, but besides that, didn't vlog anything, so I'm sorry. It was a very busy work day. I had a lot of stuff on my to-do list, but we got it all done and it's the weekend. I am already stressed a little bit about next week because there are a ton of meetings on the calendar and that just, it makes my life hard to do engagement when we have so many meetings but gonna make it through gonna figure it out it's just kind of getting all these new clients onboarded it's just a lot of work and a lot of extra meetings when we have like our established clients we're like in a solid routine with them and don't have as many meetings so just gotta kind of get through the first little bit with these clients and then it'll be a little bit back to normal i am starving so i just started making dinner making a baked potato in the air fryer chicken and broccoli so I'm gonna go keep cooking and probably read while I cook. The boys are playing Minecraft downstairs and not too many other plans for tonight. It's late, so I'm going to head to bed. I want to try and have a super productive weekend since we're still quarantined. I realized I didn't really give a COVID update past that we had to quarantine again and basically we're still waiting for the test results of Braxton's co-worker so once we get those results back we'll figure out whether like he needs to get tested or not if she's negative obviously he doesn't need to get tested and we will be out of quarantine that's what we're hoping for but we still haven't found out those results I don't know if we'll find out over the weekend at all or it won't happen till Monday morning whatever happens with that uh we're still quarantining until then that's what's up overall it was a very busy week at work but i did get everything done that i needed to and next week probably won't be <laughs> any less crazy but that's okay it feels good to be nice and busy and really just trying to get ahead on stuff going into the holidays don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments down below that lets youtube know that you liked it and it really helps my channel grow and of course if you're new don't forget to subscribe for more work vlogs week in my life all of that jazz. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.